Hey, this is a follow-on video to the uh, DMX video I showed the other day for the DMX servo. So I talked about adding another servo type, which I've done now. I'm going to do it in 2D. So this one, instead of having to have 3D object files, this one allows you to use images. So let me go down to where I've saved some up. And let's see, got the snowman, kind of big, and then, uh, and then I, um, that's going to be a static image, which is optional, and then you can have an image you want to do your motion with, so now I've got his arm, and now I need to let me, let me just bring this down a little smaller so you can scale it. So now I want to start placing that, you know, where it's going to be. Actually, I, that's the base image. You can you can move either image. So let me go down to the motion image. Let me try minus 100, uh, maybe minus 220. So you can you can kind of dial these numbers in and place that place that image exactly exactly where you want it. Now I've got that image placed where I want it. Let me um, start a blank animation. Let me get this over here where we can see it. Okay, drop a servo effect. And as I move the servo value, you can see, okay, this guy's moving in the X direction. So let's go back to his definition and say instead of translating an X, let's say I want to rotate around the Z axis, which is looking into the screen. Now we go back. And we look and it's like, well, cool, it's rotating, but, you know, that's that's not really what the wave looks like. I mean, you know, it should be pivoting down here and not in the middle of the image. So if you'll notice, I'm drawing, a, drawing this little pink circle right here. So when you select one of the rotation options, now you can go in and move the pivot point around. Let's see, let me just try. Oh, that didn't go very far. And then move it down so you can just, just dial this pivot point in exactly where you want it. Let's go with that. I'll just hit save. Jump over to the sequence, click on the effect so it registers the change. And now when I rotate the arm, see it's rotating at the pivot point I set. But still, let's see, that's that's going like 180 degrees. Let's say your real one doesn't go that far, so you need to come back in here and say, oh, this thing really only only move say 50 degrees and let's see what that looks like there you go so you can kind of see how you can start tuning these these adjustment parameters of your object and and get it to to represent you know what kind of the animatronics object you might have out in your yard. And just that was all in 2D. I'll switch it to 3D just so you can see it. It does still show up in the 3D display. You can move that guy around. Um, one thing I'll point out, you see how that arm's not showing up very well? If you want to fix that, it's because it's being drawn at the exact same depth as the other image and so they're conflicting. So just come in here to this offset Z and just say 
for the uh, motion image. You get like 0.01. That moves it forward just a smidge, and then the uh, OpenGL is able to say, oh, I know that one should be in front, and it doesn't conflict anymore. Problem is, as you turn around behind it, you'll see it disappear. But that's something I, I'll work on fixing later. Right now, everything will look right from the front. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you like it. They'll be in the uh, next release.